The following announcement has been paid for by the mighty Ben Stein. Oh, here it is. The highly anticipated new episode of Board James. Where we find out what happened to Bootsy and motherfucker Mike. <laughs> yeah, a, a giant corporation is responsible for demons. Everybody calls it Ouija board, which never made sense to me. It's sure as hell doesn't. So it's a silent O, silent U, E at the end. It's just an entirely different word. The back of the box says it's either Ouija or Ouija. Ouija is what the Ouija calls himself in the Mario games. What he said. There's been many types of rituals for contacting spirits over the ages, but the Ouija board was the first type to be mass marketed, beginning in the late 19th century. To use the Ouija board, you're supposed to have more than one person. You and your friends gather around and place your hands on the planchet. That's what it's called. But for all I know, it could be pronounced Wacamole Mole. You move must be Morocco circle, Mole's cousin or something. Spirit a question, and then wait for an answer. Supposedly, the spirit will move the plancha over the letters to spell out the answer. But you're all touching the plancha, so it's a group effort. It takes all your powers combined, the living, the dead, the powers above, and the leader in charge of the game. Some say that's just unconscious muscle reflexes that cause the plancha to move around, while others swear that Ouija boards are a serious matter. It's a tug of war. Well, I don't have anybody else to try this with, so I'm going to have to do it on my own. Yeah, how are you going to pull that off? Is there anybody here? Can't predict the future right now. Are there spirits present? Ask again later. Has there ever been anybody or anything here? All signs point to no. Anyone who can give me an explanation on the things that have happened, please speak now. I don't feel like working for you right now. Anyone who can confess to the murdering of my friends, Mike, Bootsy, talk to me if you can. Look in the mirror, you'll find the killer. No, it's a piece of shit. Does this cardboard and plastic Walmart Park Parker Brothers piece of shit do anything at all? It looks good. Oh well. Board again. So go play a board game. You know what? What the fuck have I been doing not playing this? I have Domino Rally! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Domino Rally's awesome! Yeah! Domino Rally is derived from the traditional dominoes, an old game with varying rules like dice and cards. But one day, somebody found out that there's this cool thing you can do. If you stand them up and knock one over, they all fall down. It's such a well-known phenomenon that the term domino effect is used in general whenever describing anything that sets off a chain reaction of events. Like the economic crisis of 2008? In the 80s and 90s, Yeah. So Pressman Toys decided to market this, taking away the dots, giving them bright neon colors, and making hyper commercials that made it seem like the most awesome thing in the world. It and was. You know what? It was. Hell yeah. I would spend hours setting these up, always trying to make the most spectacular domino displays we could. The only problem was, they were so easy to knock down. One slight wrong move, and they'd all fall down prematurely. Yeah, that sucked. Damn. Don't let the cats and dogs in the room, and watch out for that clumsy friend that always knocks him down. Domino Rally was such a hit, they kept making all these different variations. Oh, that one was awesome. I love that one. Yeah, L.S. fucking D. It still mesmerizes me to this day. Ah, oh, what an asshole. 
All that work. Gone. Oh, shit. Oh, shucks. Bootsy! Bootsy. Oh, now shit's starting to get serious. Is that a philosopher's stone? To obtain, something of equal value must be given. Oh shit! Speaking in tongues of life. Ugh. He bleeds ketchup. You wouldn't have to order ketchup again if you went to McDonald's to get French fries. You could just have someone cut their wrists and blood and the ketchup comes out. Whoa, it's that Frankenstein monster from the Atari game. Oh, it's Mr. Bucket! It's... Oh, shit. Oh. oh, the Dream Phone's got a gun! Apparently he came here to finish what he started. Oh, Elvis. Isn't he supposed to be fat? Yeah, you ain't kidding. That's how your ass died. Oh. Mr. Bucket kicked the bucket. Interesting note is that Elvis Presley died three months after the premiere of Star Wars. Did you cheat? No, man. No. No? It's motherfucker cheat. Elvis! No, uh, I, I didn't cheat. Mm. Shraw Rats! It is you! It is you, you motherfucker! Disqualified! What the fuck did he just say? Hey, that rhymed. First time I've ever heard him be called Jim. Anyway, it's good to have you guys back because it wasn't the same without you guys. Oh, yeah, he's bored. Thank you very much. Well, what do you say, fellas? Board game? Oh, we know how all this turns out. <laughs> not if you're playing them now. Today, I get no respect. Well, of course not. Well, seriously, guys, I gotta ask about, you know, the. 
the thing that happened. Um, uh, yeah, the thing with the phone. About the, don't worry about it. Nothing happened, all right? It's not like, I just need to know. Whoa. Shut the fuck up. Everything's fine. It's nothing. It's in the past. It never happened. Really? It's all right. It's okay. You never left never me anyway? Need to talk about it again. Bonus never points again. if you get the reference. Never. Scott Levy would be proud. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that this isn't quite over yet? The preceding announcement has been paid for by the mighty Ben Stein.